This is a quick tutorial on how to use the colloidal silver generator kit. Once you've read the simple instructions, you'll be ready to start. First, select a jar to brew in. While you can make any amount with our generators, we suggest starting with a quart-sized mason jar or similar, fill your jar with distilled water. Next, attach the silver wires through the lid and secure them with the clip adapter. Be sure to check that the silver is straight and that they are not touching. Then, place the lid on top of the jar with the silver in the water, making sure they're not touching the bottom or the sides. Now, connect your power supply to your clip adapter and plug it in. We provide professional power supply, our power have indicator light and on, off switch. Next, to verify the water's purity, use the included TDS meter. TDS meter fixed on the cap, convenient to observe the concentration of silver ions at any time, press the on button, and immerse the end with the probes into the water. It should read 0 ppm. Depending on the water used and the amount made, a batch may take several hours. The process starts slowly, slow initial increase in ppm is normal and should speed up towards the end of the brewing dot and eventually you may notice the wires are loose. You may notice the wires discoloring, tiny bubbles forming, or excess silver buildup on them, which is all normal. To help it along, use the included alarm clock, setting the alarm is very simple. You may lift the lid and swirl the wires around a bit every 20 minutes to keep the batch brewing evenly. After you notice these changes, you will want to check it periodically with the laser pointer by shining it through the solution. The laser's beam won't show in the beginning, but after silver has been dispersed in the water, the beam will become visible showing that you've made colloidal silver. Here's a quick before and after of what the laser's beam may look like. Checking for the laser is best done in a darkened room for better visibility. When the laser shows in and through your batch, you can stop the process. Once finished, unplug the power supply and remove the wires. You may use the included filters to filter out any larger particles. You now have your first batch of high-quality colloidal silver. Put high-quality colloidal silver into a spray bottle. Old or previously used electrodes will lose their shine. To expose their surface, sand the surface using a provided cleaning sponge. 